Hello, Sagittarius. This is your mid October reading, and if you guys did a little poll thing, and you guys all equally voted for um, wanting to hear about your ex, so I'm gonna just dive into that and start with the astrology of it all. So, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, uh, here's your first sign. Let's not play these games. We start with Uranus. Lots of people get in Uranus these days. And this is your potential for sudden change, enlightenment, and awakening. Don't be afraid to be spiritually enlightened. Don't be afraid to pause and absorb, comprehend, digest what you just heard and go, oh, okay, uh -huh, okay, okay. Don't be afraid to have those moments in public. The, oh, I feel it, I feel it. All right, then we have Taurus energy and the energy around you shows the abundance of nature. It is rich, earthy, and productive, yet relaxed and slow. Taurus is a lover, not a fighter. Taurus is a lover, not a fighter. And some of you guys have been dealing with one or had had one and, you know, also an Aquarius. Um, but was it easy? I don't know, because they're kind of stubborn at times, but they're lovers. They like stable stuff. And if you're a crazy hothead, which you can be sometimes, and it's not it's not your fault. It's not firing you because either what you guys are easygoing. You're optimistic and you're easygoing. But if you got that fire and that Sagittarius fire, that one with that's aboard Sagittarius, oh my goodness. Them games, them games. A Taurus, that's going to end up your ex. Okay, surprise. Then we have Scorpio energy, and the energy is intense, masterful, thoughtful, and magnetically charming, but also secretive and possessive. So, okay, you want to do that? Scorpio and Taurus, that's a lot of stubborn, heavy-headed, heavy-footed, roughneck, I don't know. That's heavy energy. Okay, your ex is heavy. They felt things deeply. And the worst part about the, the ex-ness of it, and you know, maybe all of your exes aren't seething mad. But if they have that Scorpio energy and you betrayed them, it's a wrap. They, they, they will, they, they're, they're, okay. But we can't count anything out because Uranus is here. And Uranus to start is like, hey, surprise, this person can be the complete opposite of what you saw before. I mean, it could be anything. But let me pick these cards I just dropped off. And that keeps it shuffling. All right. Uh, your first card, three of wands. I like that because you're trying to see what's out there. This person's probably out there in the streets dating, seeing what's out there. So they're probably not like in a relationship or anything, any strong commitments. We have the king of wands. Okay, you, you, do you. Do you. You're the king of wands. You're in charge. You're you're choosing when you settle down. You're choosing what you do when this person is on a roll. They're on fire. We have the six of cups. We already know why this person... Okay. It's, it's, it's sound... Okay. Okay. I see what's going on here. Do you? Because I see what's going on here. We see the three of wands. We see this person. They... I, I said they were single. They could be single. I feel like the Uranus Aquarius energy is like, even if they're in the relationship, they're one of those ones that even if they're in a relationship, they're single. Do you know what I'm talking about? Because this Three of Wands ha definitely has them out here with a wondering eye. They're looking and wondering what else is out there. Is there more? Am I happy? Is this it? I got, there's got to be more beyond the horizon of what I can see. I don't know what it is. But there's got to be something. There's got to be something. So if they're in a relationship with somebody, it's very light. Uh, if they are seeing someone, you don't know at what stage of the relationship is, but it has them wondering what else is out there. So um, there's that. Um, three of Wands would suggest maybe even somebody that there was a three third party situation with that this is happening with. Wondering Eye. Not uncommon. So then we have the King of Wands, and the King of Wands tells me that this person has like the upper hand in the relationship or in whatever situation they're in. They're definitely going to do what they want to do, what makes them happy, what they prefer. It doesn't matter how it makes anyone feel, so they'll, they'll walk away from someone. And that might be a surprise. But I think this King of Wands is a little bit manipulative, a little bit selfish, a little bit self-involved, and they're not necessarily calculating the feelings that may be hurt when they take their actions. King of Wands would. King of Wands in reverse is like, I don't care. They, they will and then they won't care anyway so it's like this person is up to their old tricks this person has been has a reputation to them the nine of wands would suggest that a lot of people know their spiel their stick what they do how they navigate and conduct themselves you see this person's very fiery with all these wands so you know they get bored easily um we have the scorpio energy associated with mars 
And we know that Mars is about like impulsiveness, spontaneity, energy, inspiration. That's the positive fire side. But then there's also that aggression and, and propensity to like having conflict and being too much, you know, too loud, too much energy, whatever that is for you. It could, it could be too much sun without sunscreen. But they've got that reputation and they've been at it for a long time. So they might be tired of the game. Now them being tired and worn out and turned loose out there in the streets for so long that they're physically tired has them thinking about the past. Because you see the pondering in the Nine of Wands and then you see the throwback to the nostalgia of the past in the Six of Cups. Who's in the past right now? That's you. That is you. You're in the past. So they do wonder. They do sit back and wonder what could have been. Think about the past with nostalgia, but the past is not real anymore. It's Even if they were to come back to you tomorrow, you're not that same person from the past, and they are not that same person from the past either. But when they look at the past, they think of it fondly. And also, I think they could get caught up in it and maybe even dwell on it a bit too much. Maybe even to to the point where they think they're still living in the past. Like, you know, like they still think, oh yeah, no, I'll just grab another girly. I'll just grab another girly. I'll just grab another girly. Whatever, this, that, this, that, 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 I'll pay for it. Round drinks on me. Like, what if they're doing all that, but they're like, listen, buddy, you're in your seventies and you're on a very fixed income. Stop, it's over. Hmm? Hmm? That's an extreme example, but it's, some, it's somewhere along those lines where this person's just, Seemingly, they just want to have that action, they want to have that fun, but there's no planning, there's no grounding, there's no feeling, there's no deeper meaning. It's just like empty actions or just like kind of doing whatever. You know, the one status you have as a king, it's like using that. Maybe it's like somebody who ha who's had power for so long, they're like bored of it, so now they're just walking that line, just trying to have as much fun as possible, and then now they're just kind of looking back and doing a reflection, reflective look and be like, can I just keep living my life like this? Like, can I keep doing that? Because Nine of Wands is completion and they're coming to a crossroads where they're like, hey, I don't, I don't know, I want to like come to a conclusion on this, this chapter in my life. We look back at the past, realize what they've been through, what they've endured, what they survived, and we get another dose of that strength. Okay? And that is associated with Leo energy. And if you know one thing about Leo is they long for a meaning, they long for purpose and they realize that, I guess, through the hardships, a lot of Leos go through the hardships and to, to activate that strength that they're built with, which is kind of seems unfair, but you know, Leos are strong, so they're gonna be put through tough situations where other energies would have just crumbled, unfortunately. So there it is, that line, that fiery person, that person that wants to go and do whatever. You might, you might realize that you're dealing with it or your ex is an extrovert. They're always like wanting to go up and up out and do things, but I feel like it's just like short-term planning. But when they do this evaluation, they look back on the past, obviously they're doing more long-term planning, which is kind of like the strength, strength energy. Because the strength of energy is like, it's about endurance. It's about having the stamina to deal with struggle for a long period of time. And maybe even looking back and recognizing that you've been through all that. Because while you're in it, you're just like, just trying to get through it. But this is like a reflection of, all that you've been through realizing your strength what you've survived and this person i feel like that's what they're doing i feel like they they almost feel like they earned this carefree way of living um they might be stubborn about it they might be unique in their ways and but like unchangeable on their ways um and it might come as a surprise to you that they're still doing the same old things but i feel like they do think about you fondly they do think about the past they might dwell on it it might be the best time in their life they just haven't been able to get over and something that they're working through you know the strength card is also kind of an emotional intelligence sign i feel like this person might just understand themselves better than other people perceive what they're doing as as like something positive it's like you're just your life's in the gutter man you work in a box factory and you just party every week and it's like i used to live in a giant house and i had bills and some other bills and suing me for leaky dripping and da -da 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 -da. this is paradise where i am right now the calm, the peace. And that's kind of an endurance strength moment. Like just realizing all you've been through, like, how did I get through that? Oh God. And I'm good. And and I'm grateful. And I am emotionally intelligent now. So I just want to be carefree and do my thing and have fun. But you know, at some point then you have other realizations. And this person I feel like it's like as they get old, just I don't know. It just feels like as they get old, 
older, their priorities change, they start thinking about the past, they start thinking about what they want to take from it, and they'll realize that it comes up in this way because there's a lot more than they, they even considered um, before all of this wandering eye behavior. So yeah, this person is going deep with the Scorpio-like levels of deepness, um, depth. Um, when they think about you, their current feelings, they just reflect on where they are now, where they've been, and they, they do cherish the past, and they do think about all that they've gone through. Um, I think they do have fond memories, maybe even hung up, and maybe just even dwelling on the past with you. So there's that. But overall, I think there's a reasoning behind this person being so action-y, doing too much, doing whatever out there. And, you know, that that's not really for you to, like, have to deal with but that's what it is you know and they're stubborn they're stubborn about it their only way through that for them to learn anything or come to any realizations or aha moments is just through their own personal experience so some some roads look different and yeah there it is that's your reading i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please give the video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel leave a comment share the video and yeah check out my Etsy shop i sell soy candles natural wax eco-friendly and home fragrances so if you could just have a look at that and check out the website uh, check out my Etsy shop just to give it some traction i'd really appreciate that and yeah thank you i will see you in the next one bye, -bye.